good late night eats. That's it right there. I'm going in. No, my friends are gonna eat some tacos. The eat me goes. Know just where to go. Hello and welcome to Eat Migos. So yes, it's 45 degrees outside. It's nine o'clock at night. I'm hungry, but I know on Thursdays that Ellie from La Consentida Taco Truck is here at 151 Saloon, so that's where I'm at tonight. 151 Saloon, she's inside. See, taco trucks are in the back, but I don't know if the bar's gonna let me film in here. All right, let's go inside and see what's going on. Remember, I'm meeting my buddy Willie here. On the road again. With it. Good, bro. Okay? Hey, this is my buddy Willie here. How's so, it going? So, Willie's actually the person who has really been telling me about La Consentida. It's a family run business, and the food is excellent. You're not going to find any better taco truck in San Antonio. Let's go do it, man. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sure, follow, like. Oh, Ellie? My, yes, Ellie. Ellie, this is Ellie. Yeah! I've been told to come and see you by so many people. We had to come inside because it's 45 degrees outside. It's cold, <laughs> first off. But secondly, I was talking to Ellie and she started telling me something that I did not know. The al pasor is my dad's recipe and it comes from family. And the, the story behind the al pastor is uh, in the 1900s, the Lebanese migrated to Mexico City. And so I don't know if you've ever noticed that they cook the gyros on um, gyros. I don't know. Gyros, got, I don't know. Well, I, I, still, I, don't know. I still don't know. But they I cook them in the trompo. And so they used to do the al pastor, which is called shepherd's meat, um, with lamb. So Mexicans started cooking it with pork. And so that's why you have it with pork. But you'll have like pineapple, so it kind of gives it that little sweetness. I do both. So it's time for us to eat. Man, well, these are gorgeous tacos. There's your uh, there's your pastor, and there is your asada. I'm gonna do the pastor. Willie's gonna do the asada. I'll let you do the honors on on my favorite, and I'll take this because they're all good. They are all good. Go for it. Mm. Mm. So what keeps you coming back to that man, other than it's keto? By not saying anything, you say everything. My first impression right here, you, you got, man, this is beautiful, beautiful. And she just served me this, I wouldn't even know it was keto. <laughs> it kind of tastes like a tortilla. Like, uh -huh. this is, like. Yeah. It's just cheese, and it's cooked on the flat top. She takes a handful of cheese, throws it on the flat top, cools it down a little bit before she puts the stuff inside. I may start eating keto. Oh my goodness gracious, so good. And you gotta order off the menu, folks. When you walk up, you gotta say, I need Willie's Keto Tacos. <laughs> They'll hook you up. And look what we got here. Oh my goodness. Pastor fries. Chris, that jalapeno on top, that's all you, bro. That's all you. We're going in. I gotta, you gotta get a little bit of that pastor on there. You better tell somebody. Oh. Yep. Ooh. I'll tell you right now. Oh You're tasting this? Are you tasting this, Chris? They're piling up here, man. The waiting's the hardest part. Oh, look here. Right. Oh, so we my. got you the new Cali burrito. The new, oh my And two God. orders of our street corn. Send me a piece of that corn. Send me a piece of that corn for later. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Love street corn. Right. Guys, look at that. This burrito. I'm excited about this. I, I have not had the asada meat. Man, it's good. It's also quality. Same thing. Juicy. Good flavor. Got like a smoky kind of flavor, yeah. man. It's really good. This is the Al Pasto Mini Tacos. Okay. Oh. And this is what you said. This is what you're known for. Yeah! Everybody free roll. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here. First impression of street tacos. Mm. 
Oh my mm. goodness, that's so good. But that is very, very good. Oh my goodness gracious. Crispy right around the edges. Oh, but they're soft. Oh, oh, so good. You have to find her wherever she's at. She's here at 151 Saloon. You come out here, you drink some beers, you grab grab some tacos, some fries. You, you grab everything that we've had here. This array, oh. this smorgasbord. Bring a of small army Mexican if you're going to eat it all, though. Because this is just two big guys. You might want to bring like six small people if you want to eat all this. Because we're both stuffed. So good. So good. Willie, thanks for the recommendation, bud, man. Not a problem. I appreciate it, dude. They're, they're at 151 Saloon almost every weekend. Most Thursdays and every other weekend here at 151 Saloon. Come out here, like I said, folks, I've never been here. This place is amazing, ambiance is great. It's cold right now, but I think <laughs> when it's warmer, this place is bomb. You have to come out and check it out. It's really cool. If you're traveling to San Antonio, you're looking for a bar that has that Texas feel, I walked in here and I was like proud to be a Texan. <laughs> I kid you not, I was proud to be a Texan. As always, amigos, love, peace, and tacos, and we'll see you next time.